everybody. Welcome back to Israel here in Hearts of Iron for modern day. Last episode we took over the great Congo, the Democratic Republic of Congo. And we need to get ready for the inevitable attack in NATO because Japan is justifying against Russia. So what do we do about this? Well, number one, we have a whole army down here, and you guys told me Turkey is a part of NATO. Border them now. I agree with you. Definitely, 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 I agree with you. Trust me, I do. And we will do that right now. But what we also need to do is get ready for other spots, because we have a fairly decent military kind of lying about, but it's not that good. Like, at the end of the day... We're going to get fucking stomped. We just have to hope that we can train up a little bit more. So I'm going to throw as much as I can and extend lines once the war starts. But right now it's just a ticking freaking time bomb. I mean, India should be able to hold out perfectly well. China, again, should be able to hold out pretty well. We have a fairly decent military and a great fucking faction. So we should be able to do this. We just have to hope that we can. 2025, and of course Donald Trump, still president, looks like he did like an executive order or uh, threw the government into free fall to keep in office right now. So that's kind of really sad. I'm going to go on three speed because I want to make sure that I'm ready for this assault. Uh, my mouse has been a little sticky, so I apologize if you hear some mouse noise. Uh, we're training up some new units. We're going to get a few more started. Mountaineer divisions and things like that are going and underway. We do have a little bit more into our Navy that will be obliterated come very soon. We should have more planes and we should get them ready over yonder. That would be an amazing thing to do. So we'll throw about 700 into here. We should have some bombers. No, it doesn't look like it. So we'll just throw 300 more into there. We'll go over yonder. Throw, like, fucking all of these guys in there. Oh, good. We got rare materials. Awesome. That's a great thing for us to have. But we need to basically be ready for this assault. Ukraine, of course, we don't have to deal with. We could get them on our side. Kind of just depends on us. But for right now, we just need... All the fucking shits that we can throw in here. At the end of the day, that's what we need. And we will get that started right now. But we do not have the bomber capabilities, at least as of right now. We're going to move our entire um, force basically over here. We want to get some strategic bombers. And some fighters over here would be nice. That would be great. Tactical bombers, that would be awesome. We get them right there. That's probably a dumb idea. We should move these guys. I'll do that once they land. But that's kind of stupid. Uh, we should have some more tactical bombers over yonder. And we can use them against Japan. So we will get them started as well. So if these fuckers want a war, they're going to get themselves a war. Trust me, they will. So we do have some fighters that are going to be necessary over in this sector. It would be very good to have them over there. We're going to get some more tactical bombers over yonder. Basically getting our entire fucking army ready. Close air support would be great. Strategic bombers, we do need them over here. I'm going to throw... I can't... Mm, this is the only thing is I can't can I split these guys Split air wing in two here we go. So you 200 can go over yonder These guys I want over in Europe Because that's gonna be great for us. We need some strategic bombers and I mean we have some but we're gonna need better ones We're gonna need some fucking close air. We're getting these guys into the Congo, so we'll fly them over here. We need some fighters over that way, too. Strategic Bomber 1. Go ahead and put you in here, just because, so that way you're useful. What other planes have we got over here? We have 65 in total. We'll go ahead and throw them all over there. Basically getting everybody ready for the inevitable war. So you guys are flying off. 
We shouldn't have that many more planes. We have 15 more strategic bombers that we can go ahead and throw over in Europe. Is that it? We do have 332 more over here. We have 300 tactical bombers, 24 strategic. We'll go ahead and throw some over there and get some more strategic over this way. So we're going to get our air done really quickly, which is great. 322, you guys are both flying away, so that's good. We don't have to worry about you guys. I think that's the entirety of our air force, except for right here. We have 78 in total. Um... Uh, does this say that we have zero? Yeah, we have, I think, absolutely zero fighters. And these are old-ass fighters anyway, so we're going to go ahead and just drop them. We'll throw these close air supports over because they still have all 78. So we'll do that, but we won't have anything else. I love it how I've basically been just putting planes in areas. i got to make sure they can all fit. Are you guys able to fit here? Yeah, you guys are fine. That's a 2,000 area. We're good. A thousand out of a thousand. Now we have to give all of these guys a job. So that's going to be already really fun. Each one of these is its own thing too. That's what sucks. This is going to be really, really difficult. So you guys, no, you 700. I want you guys to go to Lithuania. You 300 can go to Latvia. Yeah, you guys can go to Latvia. Lithuania, I want you to do close air support as well, as well as strategic bombing, because if you guys can do both, that would be great. Okay, that's that job sorted out. You, 191, I want you over here, because that's going to help. Uh, what do we got here? Some fighters standing by. We want basically all of these guys in Poland. Strategic. Strategic. You guys are coming. You guys are standing by actually now, so we'll have you close air support right there. So we're going to have some good air, but uh, it's not going to be enough for us, basically. You guys can also close air support. We're going to need basically all the help we can fucking get. You two fighters are standing by, so that's awesome. So let's go ahead and get you guys started. Air superiority and interception would be... Oh, we can't do interception, really. Um, strategic bombers would be an amazing sight, so let's have them there as well. Close air support, 78 of them. Get them going. Beautiful. Okay. You guys over here in the back, we already have you at a job. You 500, we don't. So you'll be going over to Poland as well, and you can close air support. Helping out. I think that's all of you? Yeah, that's all of you. So all of you got a job, so that's going to be great. Now over to you guys. You guys are all going to be working at the south part of Japan. And you can all reach there. So strategic bomb the fuck out of it. Close air support the fuck out of it. And strategic bomb the fuck out of it. And actually port strike it too. I mean that's going to be great. If we can do that, that'd be awesome. So we're going to get those guys started on multiple jobs. The thing is we can't send any troops over here. So that's going to suck. I Hopefully China gets that job done. That's what I'm hoping for. How's research? We need to figure out how our research is going because we've been in the dumps about it. Planes, good. We need to do more with that. Um, We need to modernize a lot of our units. A lot of our infantry are still just running on foot. I don't think they're actually motorized, and that's going to be absolutely god-awful. National spirit? What do you mean? Infrastructure, we should be working on a lot of military at the moment because we're about to fight. Um, artillery focus, military officer schools, that would be awesome. Every new general has a plus. Oh, uh, who is, you guys are free. Okay. So I need to put you guys alone in the top division, right? Mm, I think you already have your 24. Who doesn't? Is it you? Yeah. Okay, so we'll throw you guys in there. And that's actually a really smart idea. We should give you two guys a battle line as well to take these countries. Would be awesome. You guys as well take these little nations. These little nations won't be like Estonia, Latvia, Lithuania. They won't be hard. We can destroy them rather quickly. I at least think that we can destroy them rather quickly. 
I don't know at the end of the day. I'm hoping um, we're getting all of our troops basically steady around Turkey, but that's going to be a hard fucking fight as it is, and we're basically going to just want to push directly, just basically go. We won't really get to Istanbul. Yeah, we'll be like right outside it, but I think that's all right. And then who are potential conservative countries that we can get under our boot? A lot of these guys down here we could try to snag. I don't know. I don't think Mongolia is conservative. No, they're not. So we can't really get them. We could boost in them, but we can't do it as of right now. Sweden, we could. Maybe. Finland, we could. Maybe. Ukraine, we definitely could get them on our side. A lot of these other countries over here we could get. Maybe some in Africa we can get. Brazil is socialist, so we may not actually be able to do that. Any conservative nations, Argentina, we could try to grab. This is going to be a big freaking war, so we're going to need to grab as many nations as we can onto our side once this thing blows up. So we're going to have to see what happens. What are you doing? Oh, you're still training up there. Okay, that's fine as long as you guys are getting your shit done. Yeah, it's going to be... The only thing that sucks is it's going to be so long to get these guys over to the front. So, it's going to be really difficult. We can't really expand right now because we're having to worry about this war going on. Let's work on new things as in our weaponry. So, we're ready. We have nukes, so we can use those as soon as possible. I can basically nuke uh, everything here in South Japan, and that will happen Navy, we have that basically scattered all around Japan. We actually have it surrounded, so that's going to be great for us. The Almost the entirety of the Mediterranean is ours. Black Sea, we really don't care about, so I'm not going to try to take that. We could try to get the Baltic Sea and try to get these guys from not getting trade, but England will have really great Navy coming our way. So John Brown with your 37 shippy shippies. Let's go ahead and get you guys out there and patrol. That would be marvelous. Any other ships that we have that we're not really using? Doesn't really look like it. The Israeli Raj. How are you doing? Fairly good. You're in alliance with me, of course, and you have a damn good amount of troops, Mike. My fucking God. The thing is, if if they would be justifying against certain like countries, I would get things ready. Like as like China, I would get things ready. India, I, like I would be getting ready for war. I mean, of course, like if Russia gets into this fight, they're going to call me, and I know they will. They still have two divisions. They're basically protecting their ports, and they act they just don't have enough troops to do it. So we have to do it. And yeah, you could say, wow, that kind of sucks. But at the end of the day, yeah, but we can we can get this done. And I feel like. Here's the thing. We're not in the position to win. At least not right now. We are not in this position. We have to we have to do what's necessary for. I thought they just took those two divisions from here and sent them over, but I don't know what the fuck Russia is doing, but it's sending troops over here and it's just sitting in Alexandria. So, thank you. And that's the other thing is they're going to naval invade the fuck out of me. So, it's going to be really hard to try to stop these naval like naval invasions while fighting on the front because Russia doesn't have anything. If I would have kept Russia, I think I could have... Japan wouldn't have started justifying. Oh, they, they've gotten their justification. Yeah. They have their justification. But the thing is, because they're a puppet under me, they have to declare war on me directly and not on Russia. So that's freaking grand. So they may not actually fight me. The thing is, I have to be constantly ready for this, though. Like, I have to train up a new force to continue my purge in Africa if this is not going to happen. But I have to at least defend Russia until it gets its its military. Whew, I thought the war was I thought the war was coming, but they have their justification. They haven't used it, and that's what's that's what's good. At least good with me. What is Gen Three main battle tank? We're not building any of these, which is very odd, because a lot of our a lot of our shits are broke. What's going on? Missing equipment. What do we need? Attack aircraft. Makes sense, but we can't can't build these things. What's happening? 
Are we trading away? What's construction like? Yeah, they're rebuilding some stuff. Do we have resistance? I didn't think we did, but we might. Do we have resistance? It doesn't look like any spots have resistance. Huh, that's weird. So I'm a lot more active right now on my uh, Twitter. I have basically revamped my Twitter. I'm going to start using it a lot more. So if you want to go follow me on Twitter, the link is down in the description below. You can get a hold of me that way. The Discord link also in the description below. You can get a hold of me there. Uh, that's probably more direct. Like you can contact me a lot easier on Discord. But Twitter, if you still want to know basically updates on Hearts of Iron 4, things like that, you can follow Twitter. Facebook, I also have that down there. So go ahead and follow everything if you so wish to. That would be awesome. Okay, so they, they're they not going to attack. They're not. I mean, they're in NATO. So they have, they can do this. They didn't, they're not really that pissed off at me, though. This is odd. I don't know what's happening. Okay, we could start building land forts here, but it wouldn't really help. I mean, if we don't have troops here, it wouldn't fucking help it. Um, nuclear reactors would be great, but we already have a fucking dick ton, and we build nukes, a lot of nukes, very quickly. Rocket sites, we could, but we don't really need to. Oil, what are we low on as a nation? What are we low on? We're trading a fuck ton of steel. So we could build some steel factories to kind of reduce that. That would be l awesome, actually. So let's go ahead and do that. A little bit more in my area, too. Not sure by this point if I'm building over in Kazakhstan. If I am, congratulations. I know that's Kazakhstan, but... Congratulations. You get a little bit of steel. Proud of you. Military officer schools is finally done. That's awesome. That really helps me out a shit ton. Uh, just because I'm probably going to have a lot of generals anyway. Artillery, I really don't need you, but armor is really the thing that I'm going to focus on. Wow. Recruitable population factor, 20%. Holy shit. Are you kidding? Let's do that. That would be awesome. How is our troopy troopies going? We're not getting a lot of our stuff out in time. Light mechanized. We still really need light mechanized. And that sucks. Like, that sucks a lot. We're going to need to get that done. Uh, unassigned divisions. Yes, I know we have one. Thank you. I need to figure out... I need to build more of them, but the problem is I don't have I don't have that shit. I cannot. We have all we like we have four different full stack of factories building Gen two mechanized. Like I don't want to build Gen three mechanized just because I mean for fuck's sake, you know we're building almost nine a day on each of these, and we're just we're not getting it. I mean we're not we're building it up to this full capacity, but. I don't know. We'll we'll upgrade ourselves as much as possible. How supplies in this area? Probably shit. Yeah, at least right there we're awful. Holy shit, we're really awful actually in this area. We're not losing any organization or anything, so I'm not gonna oh like a little. I dare lie to you all. Seventeen I do need an army here though, that's the problem, and I can't stretch. I could move you guys up. I mean, it would help, but Lithuania is going to be basically here. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to get you guys out of here. It's going to help us out that way. So we're going to train all these guys out. That way, we shouldn't have a fuck ton of desertion anymore, which is going to help us out. And then when we go to war, we'll probably just stretch this out and just attack full. If we go to war, what's happening now? Japan is justifying again. See, sometimes I've seen that the AI does this to where they justify and then they don't do anything. Because they're justifying again. They had it. They didn't declare war on me. They're justifying against Russia again. They probably won't declare war again. So it's, it's going to be kind of a standstill for a while. And that's actually going to help me out at the long run because I can train a shit ton of extra divisions really quickly. Which is going to be fucking great. Uh, 
That's going to be awesome. I'm going to wait out certain troops like all of these guys. I'm going to wait these guys out, make another army, and try to capture a little bit more land in Africa before this war starts. That would be awesome for us. So basically this episode is really just going to be a um, build up. It's not really going to be a huge war episode, which kind of it's kind of sad, but oh well, I was I was hoping for it, but at the end of the day, what can you do? We can apply to join the EU, which I think would help us out in the long run. I think so. I don't know. Put down in the comments if you guys want us to apply to join the EU. It, it's kind of up to you guys. I mean, really, for me, at the end of the day, I can live without it, but anti-submarine, no. We definitely want decisive battle. That's going to really help us out. But, yeah, do let me know if you want me to join the EU. Maybe that's going to relieve a little bit of tensions, but uh, if it doesn't, then we're kind of just fucked anyway. So, oh well. We feel all right, at least on the turkey side. On some of these other nations, we feel pretty good. Like, I'm actually really surprised. So, there's apparently some new updates that's going to come to Hearts of Iron 4 that's going to give us new radar stations, which is going to look fucking awesome once this mod is, like, updated with that. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. And then some new trading system is coming out, or at least a better way to look at it, and that's going to be great. Uh, just because I, like, honestly, when I look at this trade screen... I'm like, okay, like, I get that I'm producing all of these things, and I could read into all of these, but it's like, I need a way simpler way to look at this. Like, this is kind of just really bulky to me. Um, and just, like, I have to read individually, like, what's being exported, what's being imported kind of deal. And I just, I can't see it. Like, so I'm really happy that they're going to be doing this. Ooh, anti-air. That would be freaking grand. We can get this started. Get some going over here. Basically around the front lines here. We'll build some. For these good old people. That would be great. Uh, around Turkey. That would also be very useful. Air bases would be good. Radar stations would also be great. But we're going to get. Some air. Anti-air things. Going here as well uh, of course over in Israel we're gonna need Oh, I'm clicking down the shift key that's weird it's odd that it didn't pick that up but we'll build some over there too and then probably over in China we should get some around the close coastlines maybe I don't know but look Japan you attack us you're gonna get nukes bud I mean you just are I'm sorry. Like, is that rude? I don't think it's rude. You're just going to get a fuck ton of nukes coming right at your face, bud. And it's not my fault. It's just you want it to happen. So, you go ahead. I'm not scared. So, soon enough we'll have this land doctrine thing done, which is going to be great. Who is our next victim? That is the next question. Could be Congo. All of these guys could happen. That would be great. Um... It's kind of really difficult because a lot of these guys are starting to become, you know, conservative, some type of democracy. So that's really kind of like uh, on our part. Madagascar reactionary too. Do you have any like really good resources over there? Oops, wrong one. Yeah. Yeah, pretty decent. We could navally invade Madagascar. We could. I don't know if we want to, but we could. We need to get some air superiority over in turkey too do we have that we have at least 462 drones that could be used i love building drones they are so quick to be built and I, oh man it's awesome it's so good how many troops do we have we have about nine in total not bad we want to get you guys started up on a new general lucas we could use or we could just bump one and get a level two so we'll do that peter hello how are you bud you look to be doing fine. Let's go ahead and line up against Somalia. I think is going to be one of the good first ones to take. They probably don't have a lot as far as their country. A little bit of steel, a little bit of oil. Nah, I think a way better spot is the Congo. Yeah, so let's go ahead and delete that. Get that the fuck out of there. Let's go to the Congo. 
Congo is going to be way fucking easier for us. So let's get everybody going over to that Congo. That's going to be great. And we just got another, we got a Mountaineer. Not too well for the Congo, but we could throw him over in Europe. There's not really many mountains. I mean, here, oh shit, Turkey, duh, holy shit. Turkey got a fuck ton of mountains. Go, my bud. Get going. That's going to be great for you. Yeah. Research. What do we need now? Just a few more things. Beautiful. Beautiful. We're not going to be able to start a war. At least not in this episode. Which is really, really sad. But this is a good, good learning episode. There we go. Oh, yes. 20% recruitable population. Oh, 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 gosh. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. That's going to be so beautiful. Vietnam, really, really, really communist. If I could boost in them, I could possibly get them to go to me. Ho Chi Minh. Beautiful city. Ho Chi Minh, yes. Blitzkrieg. Mass motorization. Nice. That would be good. Yeah, let's do that. Awesome, awesome. Um, North Korea, very communist as well. I wanted to destroy all the communists around here too. I mean, we could, but it uh, doesn't look like that's going to happen. I mean, we saved China from being communist, but it looks like, oh well. Doesn't look like anything is going to really happen with that. How's Navy looking? I think the entirety of the Mediterranean is ours and all around here. Japan is completely surrounded in more ways than none, uh, both by naval and at least on the south part, we're probably going to get them in air. So that's the thing. This war is going to be so long. And I mean, people have been training up for fucking ever, ever. There's going to be so many divisions in this fight. It's going to be so difficult. You, I mean, you can see 29, 9, 17, 15, you can see that I don't even have nearly as much as Turkey, but we still feel fucking awesome, so don't know what it is, but we feel great. How are we feeling over in the Congo? Not actually bad. Not actually too bad. I actually kind of like that. So let's go ahead and work to get that bonus for having the plan. Ugh. They're going to be just fine for fucking average Japan. That kind of makes me really irritable. The thing is, if freaking the United States was boosting, then I'd be scared. Then I'd be like, all right, look, let's not let's not do this. That That's terrifying, okay? But it's Japan. They're not going to attack me. They really, they're not. And I can't get them out of NATO, which is annoying. Um, Could work on our Air Force and Naval after this, which would be great. But I need to really, I don't really know what to do right now. I'm trying to just like frantically get myself together and it's dangerous and terrifying. Nuclear bombs, we have 26, going to be soon 27. And we have a fuck ton of air superiority, at least right here, which is going to be great. And then we can just nuke them, which is going to be freaking beautiful and grand. Could put things over here. We could also give that to Russia because they're here. And I have their territory. So I will manage occupied territories. I should have something from Russia. Where are you, you fuck? Yeah, you're right here. You're soon enough going to be a colony, which is going to be nuts. <laughs> like, that's actually really freaking funny. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not going to try to find it right now. Because I got shit to do. What are you guys doing? Where are you going? Like, I have no idea. Yeah, they feel like shit, but we feel great. Awesome, awesome. It's so hard. I don't know. I, it's so hard. Like, there isn't any war going on right now, but that's the thing. Is like, I'm trying to make sure that I'm ready for it, and I really don't feel like I am. Ground support. Key point bombing. That's really good. Air superiority plus 20%. Oh, fuck. Ground support. Now, nah, air superiority, I feel like we're going to be dealing with a lot of fuck planes. The thing is, we can research all of that, can't we? 
Wait, is it mutually exclusive? No, it's not. We can research all of these, so that's actually great. Sweet. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So, Israel is going to stop for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry that there was not a war, but we are trying to get things started to where we're going to soon have more things going on over in Africa. But right now, this episode was just basically a getting ready for the inevitable war uh, scenario. I'm also thinking of doing um, maybe some Black Ice Hearts of Iron 4. That would be fun. Um... And some other things, some other games, maybe some Day of Infamy. And then, you know, maybe some Total War games that I haven't played in a while. Empire Total War, things like that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode, though. If you did, go ahead and go down below. Get a like going, please. It helps out the, camp, uh, the channel so much. And then also, subscribe to see more. Comment down below certain things that I probably am missing or... Uh, things that I could be doing to prevent the inevitable slash get ready for it and be prepared for the inevitable. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will see you in the next episode. Until then, Glenn Games signing off as always. Everyone, have a great day and take care.